Hello my friends, my name is Valerie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying one of Spring 2022's biggest trends, which is color. Lots and lots of color. So much joyful, wonderful color, in fact, that it's being called dopamine dressing. Now, as a plus size person, I'm about a US 1820. I've always avoided color. I've always been taught color and pattern and all these bright, bold things make me look bigger than I am. But I wanted to change that. I've seen everyone wearing Bottega green and the pinks and oranges from Jacques Mousse's runway. And it just made me think, why not give it a try? So I decided to pull out all the beautiful, colorful clothing that I've just been avoiding wearing and try to put them into outfits. So with that, let's, let's get started. <laughs> For the first outfit, I wanted to do an incredibly simple, but still bold take on color blocking. Now this is the kind of outfit I can imagine throwing on in a hurry without having to think too much about, but also being confident that it still looks good. My dress is the beautiful red Selkie day dress. And while it's a solid color and relatively simple, it also has these lovely details that shine, like the dainty puff sleeves and the cinched corset like waist. I paired it with my beloved Telfar Azalea shopping bag. And I think the beautiful bright fuchsia color works beautifully with the red and adds a playful pop to the outfit. I also find that when putting together colorful outfits, it's easier to pair colors that have relatively the same levels of saturation. And finally, I have on some simple snakeskin low heeled sandals to add a touch of texture that doesn't take away from the rest of the outfit. This next outfit is a bit of a different take on color blocking. While my first outfit was head to toe color, this one injected color into only a few items. I love coats and I knew I wanted to build an outfit around my new Fashion Nova faux suede lavender coat. So I paired it with my pink skims bodysuit just to add another pop of color. And then I decided to keep the rest of the outfit neutral with tan trousers from Big Bud Press, a white bag from Akira and simple heeled sandals. I think subtle pops of color and gentle pastels are a great way to wear color, especially if you're someone who usually only wears neutrals. This beautiful blue dress is the only item I own from Zara. And that's only because it was meant to fit oversized on a straight sized person. So it fits me just right. Now I know this outfit looks a little bit confusing. A cape coat with a beach dress and sandals, where could I possibly be going? And the quick answer is Chicago. I live in Chicago and you can get rain, snow, sunshine, and hail all in the same day. We must always be prepared. <laughs> so since this dress is flowy and light, I decided to top it with my H&M cape coat that's also a bit shapeless. Sometimes it's just nice to not have to worry about clothes clinging to my body. And to finish it off, I threw on some Ugg sandals and a lovely little ultramarine green bag that I found on Amazon. Confusing? Yeah. Cute? Also yeah. This outfit has a little bit of everything. Texture, pattern, and color. Let's start with the coat. It's a beautiful wool coat in a lovely moss color. It kind of reminds me of a hobbit's coat, actually. The top is a simple white H&M bodysuit, and on the bottom is a thrifted, brightly colored, and patterned skirt. I think that pink and green make such a pretty color combination that feels very young and fresh. And I also think that since the skirt is the only patterned item, it doesn't look too busy. I topped it all off with white knee-high boots and my favorite gold foil Bottega Veneta dumpling bag jupe that my husband fondly calls the golden gyoza. I think this outfit is so fun and though there's a lot going on, it just works. At least I think it does. And that's really all that matters.
On the color wheel, orange and blue are opposite each other. The contrast between their exposures is higher than any other complementary color combinations. So naturally, we must put them together in an outfit, living life on the edge. <laughs> I wore my bright orange Fashion Nova bodysuit with some good American straight leg jeans, white Ugg sneakers, and a gorgeous, gorgeous blue coat that I thrifted. I also decided to go, go all in and be extra matchy-matchy, adding an orange handbag. It's definitely not a subtle look, but I'm not here to be subtle. Now this outfit is a whole lot, but also just enough. I've grown to love pink over the years, and I wanted to play with different shades of pink in this outfit. I think tonal outfits can be so chic, even when they seem to be all over the place. I started with my beautiful Skims bralette, and I topped it with my wonderfully comfortable Fashion Nova oversized pink button down. I could easily stop here and just throw on some jeans or some tan trousers, but instead I decided to put on my Big Bud Press raspberry trousers. We have true pink, bright pink, and soft pink all represented. And to keep the outfit from looking a little too crazy, I wore my white chunky Ugg sandals and an orange bag. Do I look like a human-sized Pepto-Bismol bottle? Yeah, maybe. But do I look like the cutest human-sized Pepto-Bismol bottle? Most definitely. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked all the outfits and different color combinations that I tried. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite and what you would do differently. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.